Howdy, partner. I'm Andrew. Today, I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of sodium sulfide. Take a look at how simple this is with the following table. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, Na, and we got sulfur. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. If there's no subscript at the bottom of the element, just put in a one. That means we got two sodium, one sulfur. We're going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each particular element. We need the periodic table for that. So sodium is 22.99, sulfur is 32.07. So that's what, what we're going to write down. So 22.99 for sodium, 30, 32.07 for sulfur. And then to find the total mass of the element in the compound, just simply multiply this row on a cross. So for sodium, that's 45.98 units of mass. And then for sulfur, 32.07 units. Okay. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, we simply just need to add this column on up. See how nice and easy that is? So that's going to be 78.05. And the units here are in grams per mole because we're solving for molar mass. So thanks so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Check out our channel. We've got thousands of other videos out there for you. We'll see you soon.